The name's Flower. Kala Flower. All right, I don't know what the fuck that was. But anyway, we are going to check out the new demo for a game that isn't even out yet called The Invincible. Uh, they've given me access to the demo early, so thank you for that. In Steam, it says, Rethink Human's Dominion in The Invincible, a story-driven adventure set in a hard sci-fi world by Stanislav Lem. Sure, I butchered that. Discovered Planet Regis 3, a scientist Yasna use atom punk tools looking for a missing crew and face unforeseen threats, make choices in a philosophical story that's driven by science. I've actually had people kind of compare this to Firewatch. So I don't know, I've, I'm very curious about this. Let's check it out. So I looked around a little bit. I think this demo is about 20 minutes ish. I'm gonna see if I can take my time with it. Welcome to the Invincible demo. It takes place early in the game, shortly after the very beginning, but worry not. On the following screen, you'll see a brief recap of previous events. Please keep in mind that the demo does not represent the final quality of the game. We're still working hard to improve it, fixing bugs and enhancing the performance. Now let's dive into the world of the Invincible. You're an astrobiologist named Yasna, a crew member of the Dragonfly, a small research vessel. At the start of the game, Yasna woke up in a full space gear stuck on an alien planet with no recollection of how or why she got there. Checking her equipment, she discovers that her radio receiver is broken, thus she has no contact with the rest of the crew, but suspects they can still hear her. Based on her own journal entries, she's in close proximity to their camp. As Yasna heads towards her des destination, her memories are... <clears throat> it took too much time to... I gotta, gotta work on my speed of my reading. Ooh, wow, this is like way prettier graphically than I expected oh, it to be. Wow. <gasps> is anybody out there? Oh. It's a robot. Androbot? Guide me to the nearest crew member. Androbot? Guide to people. Androbot? Locate human. Damn! I don't want to. Fuck you, stupid human. A robot didn't like us. My god, this is gorgeous. I'll hold your robot hand. Could you just work for me, please? Can I smack him? Can I just, like, punch him in the face? I feel like that would help, right? A little percussive maintenance. Wait, can I go in? This is a little spooky. Because I don't know what's going on. And apparently the character doesn't know either. <gasps> There's a person! Dr. Crowther, didn't you hear me earlier? Doctor! Is everything all right? Uh, sir? Doctor, please wake up. I report that I've located Dr. Crowther. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Hello. Anyone there? I repeat, Crowther is in a serious condition. Sir, I'm going to have to perform surgery on you. There's somebody talking to me? Wait, how? How do I respond? Excuse me. Yasna, can you hear me? Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know him. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. Glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. <laughs> Well, it looks like he lost his head. 
Testing, one, two, three. Ugh, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear, but to the point. As I understand it, there's only Dr. Crowter in the camp, and he's not well. What happened? I, I was just about to examine him. Dr. Crowter, please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. I need to take a blood sample. Temperature normal. Pulse 2. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. Mm, I mean, there's definitely something mentally off. Look into the shiny light. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, Doctor. Uh, is a case of I want to get off of this fucking planet. Do you have any idea what's wrong with him? Up until yesterday, he wasn't suffering from any mental disorders, and there were no visible injuries. So, I, I test his blood for toxins. Could it be the methane from the atmosphere? No. Methane poisoning causes different symptoms. I'm afraid it's something else. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, the lander. We need to get you all on board. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? If it were that easy, I would have sent the hopper long ago. Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find. And you still need to designate a place for the landing. What is happening? Have I mentioned that I hate space? Oh, what's that? It's not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowter kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. Mine died, but Crowter had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. AZ-2316. Noting. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Man, what is happening right now? Mm. Oh, got it. Beep, boop, beep. Please make sure it works. Beep, boop, beep. Beep, beep. Okay, what do I detect? I mean, it. That appears to be working. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. So, what's interesting, this game is not listed as horror, but it is like sci-fi, right. like atmospheric kind yes, of what the fuck is going on. Can, trying to establish a connection? Can I help somehow? Let's look for the others, Doctor. I'll take care of this mission. Aye, aye, Captain. Team head back on its feet remotely. And secure Crowter. I have everything I need. Just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. Not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Ah. Yasna? What are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. Oh wait, I found that before I was supposed to. You're gonna make them wait? Well, I don't know. Am I supposed to? I mean, this guy looks kind of like he can't do anything. If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. It's right here. I found it. Just let me pick it up. I lied. I have got good news and bad news. The bad news is our signal is far too weak to restart the Andrew bot. The relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried, but 
but I've seen a spare. That's the good news. Yeah, precisely. I'm going back for it. Uh, I have the extra relay. Excellent. The signal should be back as soon as it's turned on. Alright. I've just set this up in close proximity to the can. Give him a forehead massage. Oh, it worked. He moved. Finally. Artie should be walking now. Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. I don't know if you really fixed him, Doc. Oh, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Oh, please check his lens. Could be the server motor. Ah, that's it. God, you tin bastard. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go get the rest while I finish here. And that's an order. Yes, sir. So I'm just supposed to leave... Doctor who can't even think properly with robot that can't move properly? This is going to go very well. I'm gonna let him do his thing, but I almost don't trust him. I don't know why. I just, I just, something feels weird about this whole fucking thing. I found the area marked by Dr. Crowther. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground. Whoa. A large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Oh, I don't fucking know. I'm Yo. entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Is that... I found it. The fog in the helmet, though. Like, good God. Like, the air. Like, I just... Ugh. This is beautiful. Sorry, I don't get to play games with this good of graphics this often. Can you hear it? Yes. Is anyone there? What's going on? You! Doctor. Checking! It's a drill! So damn loud! Phew. It's finally stopped. Yes, Are you there? I am. Unfortunately alone. Working equipment gave me hope. But someone just abandoned it, didn't even turn it off. And that is indeed unfortunate. We need to expand our search radius. You know, I'd like to ask man on the radio a little bit about himself. Why am I taking orders from men on the radio? Got okay. someone. I got a dot. Something on the ground. It's a journal. We must focus on both water cans. measurements. These are Merritt's notes. She must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. Dear Dr. Merritt, this is in response to the latest interpol planetary conference we would like to offer you a promotion in the future expedition as an astrogator your skills and overall performance in previous missions prove to us your readiness to take the next step in the space journey uh oh there's a backpack cost of backpack that's concerning What's going on here? <gasps> She's here. I found her. 
What's her condition? Marit! Marit. Oh, what the fuck? Just when it was starting to get good. Okay, fine, I'll wish list it. Whoa, what the fuck? There was that. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I want to know more. You can't reach the truth without crossing a sea of mistakes. There's something fishy going on here. Was that body in the menu last time? Because I don't think it was. So, what did you guys think? Is this something that we're gonna check out when it fully releases? Do you want to know more? Are you tired of the space thing? I personally am not. I actually think that looks really good. I'm really into story games and like when decisions matter in the games that you play. And I feel like YouTube might actually be a really solid place for those types of playthroughs. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts, but it, it had a very like spooky, eerie undertone to it. Like there's there's like a mystery in there that I want to know more about. So let me know your thoughts before I leave. Make sure you like and subscribe. We do have a bunch of people that we've been picking up from TikTok and my YouTube shorts lately. So hi, welcome. And uh, I guess this is it for me. So I will see you all in the next video.